reporting from Stanford Stadium. I'm Emily Nerland with Aaron White for UGASports.com. Aaron, you were pretty dramatic in fashion getting through the end zone. Now tell it to me straight, did you just do that for the camera? I didn't do it for the cameras, man. I, I, had, a, I had a flash in my mind to that Houston player that, that ran into the band equipment and broke his leg. And I was like, I'm not about to run into the xylophone or whatever it was, man. So I, I jumped over it. And then when I hit the hedges, everybody thought I was being a drama queen for real. But then I was like, man, I'm stuck. I really yeah. can't get up. And everybody was crowded around me, and nobody wanted to pull me out. And I was like, man, help me. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Eventually, my teammates grabbed a hold of my leg and my arm and pulled hard enough, and it ripped the back of my jersey open, man. Like, people thought I was just playing. I was like, no, nah, I was really stuck, man. It wasn't a game in the hedges, man. Those hedges are no fun. But uh, it, made it, it made it memorable, man. My first one in Sanford Stadium, man. I'm just, I got to thank God, man, for blessing me with that opportunity, man. I'm just glad I made the play. So some people say it's kind of hard to get up for a New Mexico State. The offense was really clicking. You guys are spending almost more time, you know, inside the hedges, uh -huh. trying to make plays than even between them. Can you talk about what got you guys going and why you were clicking so well today? Well, uh, the, the coaches were harping all week about how hard Brandon Horton and Kyle Krumpus were going to run and how, how excited they were to have this opportunity. And, uh, you know, that, that got us fired up, you know, playing for them. You know, their first game where they really got a lot of minutes and got a chance to mix it up. And, uh, man, anytime it's homecoming, you know, you got to show up, man. We had a lot of old players on the, on the uh, sideline who, uh, you know, of course, I want to impress, you know, guys who I used to play with and guys who are in the league right now. You know, you don't want to think, oh, well, Georgia fell off or anything like that. And uh, we had a great homecoming crowd, man, all the festivities. So uh, it definitely, definitely got us up, you know. And uh, people say that New Mexico State's not a team, but, uh, you know, they're Division One. last time I checked. You know, they just beat Minnesota. You know, they're, they're still a squad, and they, they weren't a bad team at all. Their offense has been averaging a lot of yards, but uh, – you know, definitely, it was a lot of factors playing into it, but uh, we, I don't know what it was, man. We were hitting on all cylinders out there. Offense was just ready to go. Can you talk about what that does for your confidence and how much you're able to open your playbook against this team going into a big Auburn weekend next week? I think it does a lot for the young guys, you know, the guys who haven't necessarily gotten a lot of clock so far. Uh, get out there and be able to make some plays and score some touchdowns, you know, it just adds to their confidence. So now when we come back next week with a tougher rival opponent, you know, SEC opponent uh, who a, a must win, you know, we got to win this game and we plan on winning this game it, uh, it definitely boosts the confidence and uh, you know especially when we go in, into this game uh, not a full power with you know some guys sitting out and we still manage to come out and just have a great game across the board uh, that speaks volumes to our team and the depth of our team you know and the talent that we have here so it definitely definitely does us well you know definitely makes us feel good and speaking of great performances Aaron Murray five touchdowns 200 something yeah. just in you know and a half can you talk about the way he was able to go out and execute today uh, yeah he was on the money man uh, a couple passes early you know, might have been a little off key, but then after that, uh, he was hitting everybody. And uh, I don't know what it was, man. I don't know whatever he ate last night or drank, whatever movie he watched. He needs to do it again next week because uh, we need another big game. And, uh, you know, we haven't seen a performance out, like that out of him uh, in a while. I don't know if he's ever played that well, you know, high school or whatever. Just little League, I don't know how far, how far you go back. Uh, this is probably one of the best games he's ever played, and you only played a half. So, uh, you know, anytime we can get you know, him back in whatever he was doing today, whatever mode that is, I'll do whatever it takes. <laughs> well, thank you so much for Aaron White. I'm Emily Nerland. Check out ejsports.com for more.